ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Skip E. Lowe Looks at Hollywood. Today's guests are Roger Berbar, who holds a place in the Guinness Book of World Records, and Miss Edie Williams, whose accomplishments may be said to speak for themselves. And now, here he is, the man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood today. We have a very interesting show for you today. It's a little something different. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one of the world's fastest running waiters in the world. And he holds the world's Guinness Book of Records. Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very fine runner and a very dear friend of mine, Roger Berman. Hello, Skippy. Is that right, Berman? Yes, Berman. 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 We're from Switzerland, right? From the Alps, yes. The Alps. But what do you mean by the fastest running waiter in the world? What does that all mean? Well, it started many years ago when they had waiters race around the countries, including in France, Switzerland, uh -huh. Luxembourg. And they would have all the restaurant associations staying, getting together and put all the waiters and waitresses in the street, uh -huh. give them a trade dressed in the working habit. You mean you run like this? Yes, you work with the bow tie. That's right, with the all Just outfit, the you know, <laughs> shoes Roger. and everything. No, yeah, yeah. we? And then you have a tray, a nice tray, with sometimes two bottles of uh, champagne or different uh -huh. glasses of champagne or some wine. Uh -huh. And the race can go from 1,000 meters to the marathon, uh -huh. you know, and... You mean you run with the tray, yes, with a, a glass, a, with a bottle? That's correct. You know, I can Mineral show Mineral and what? A very nice example. Uh -huh. It's a bottle that I bring back from different races. I was in uh -huh. the around the world. This is from New Zealand. Uh -huh. And it was from... You North even race in New Zealand? Yeah, New Zealand, Canada, uh -huh. Brazil, Japan, oh. Korea. I've been all over the world with, you know, right. just with a little tray, uh -huh. you know. And you basically hold a bottle, one or two bottles, two glasses. Uh -huh. Everyone has to have the same right. items on the tray. Uh -huh. And here you go. You can run as fast as you, as you want or you can, but if you drop any liquid or drop any bottle, you're out of the race. You are. So you have to find that balance where you run fast mm -hmm. without dropping anything. Mm -hmm. how, did you, how did you come about this, Roger? Well, I didn't invent anything. I know you're from a restaurant <laughs> family. Your family is from a restaurant yes, in Switzerland. Yes, I grew up in my father's restaurant many years ago uh -huh. in Switzerland. Right. I went through, uh, become a chef, and then through the management school. Mm -hmm. and You went to a very good school in France. Yes. The, which one is no, that? No, the Ecole Hotelier in Lausanne. Which, which is one the of best. The tap, and, you, right. know, you really learn about right. the, the restaurant and hotel business. Uh -huh. Then I went to Australia. I moved back here to America. I've been for a few years. Do you live in Australia? I lived in Australia for two years. Tell a me great country. Roger. I was there too. Yeah. Tell me. Great did country, you beautiful like sand beach. Did you remember? Really like oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. And especially down under, you're opposite of the world, you know. Right, right. Much more peace than here. Uh -huh. And then I came to America, and in 1976, they had the first Los Angeles weather's race. That was in 1976. 76 was yeah. the first? The first American Los Angeles Water weather's race. Waiters yeah. race, I see. See, so okay. they had them in Europe for the last 60, 70 years. But finally, a group of restaurants got together and said, let's start. And I was invited to the first race, and I won the first race out of luck. And since then, for the last eight years, I've been running in about uh, 17 different countries. Uh -huh. Won over 150 what is race. Really? Uh, made the front cover of the Guinness Book. Yes, made a did. lot of trophies. And a lot you of are in, how many, how many books are you in? Well, this Here you is, are on the cover. Yeah, this is the 1984. I'm this right there. 1984 Roger, Guinness Book of Roger, Records. Roger Bourbon right there. And that's when running the London Marathon, with uh -huh. a great time of two yeah. hours and 47 minutes, uh -huh. mm -hmm. without changing hand, carrying the tray in the bottle, and without dropping a thing. Really? Yeah, so what is your what is your speed, Roger? I mean, uh, miles. How many miles is it? Uh, the what marathon is 26 miles, 396 yards. Really? All right. So usually a good runner, world class runner like Alberto Salazar, would take him two hours, eight minutes, eight nine minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I've done in 247 all with the outfit, and that's why I have a lot of respect from all the other runners uh -huh. for doing so with all my clothing on and the right. tray, uh -huh. because you become a very good international runner when you run under three hours. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, doing 247, it really took me in a lot Roger, of Roger, I'm going to tell my audience, they really don't. You are a great judo. You're in judo, aren't you? Yes, that's what I mean. played judo for 16 years. 16? I hold a second degree black belt. I participate in championship uh -huh. in Australia, Switzerland, all over uh -huh. Europe. Uh -huh. uh, and I sort so of you jog every day? Twice a day. Twice a day? Twice a day, yeah. Why twice? Well, uh, when, to, when you run marathon, you know, for a lot of the runners who run 10K, 5K, if you run once a day, four or five miles, you, you know, you're in good shape. Mm -hmm. But to try to achieve good result in the marathon, mm -hmm. you have to do at least in one week, three times the distance you're going to run on Sunday. Right, right. So I would run an average of 
30 miles every two days, or sometimes up to 90 miles in one week, really? sometimes more. So I compensate that into my I work uh -huh. lunch and dinner in a restaurant. I'm yes, you, ha you had a restaurant here in town. It yes. was Café Monnier. I owned a restaurant, Café Monnier, which was very popular. On in, Burton Way. In 80, 81, 82. It was very, very good. I yeah. was there for dinner many times. Then I've left because all they tear down the building, so all I have is souvenirs, a nice break, and I'm waiting now to open my next restaurant. Is that what you're doing, waiting now? Because you're, you're managing a uh, the, ca uh, the Romeo and Juliet. Yes, I'm a manager, but I'm still a waiter because I like it. I uh -huh. don't like to wear a jacket to be just like the regular uh -huh. maitre d' and, you know, how are you? But you still manage the rice, right? Yeah, I'm in yeah. charge of everybody yeah, there, right. but I like to go to the table and help everybody out. They have excellent order. food there, don't they? The food is the best. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. it's not an Italian food. Great pasta, all home, uh, homemade, they're uh -huh. fresh. Uh -huh. The chef does a great job, and the owner... Vito is he Italian, the chef? Yes, the he chef is, is he Italian. Is? He is? And the owner of Vito Sasso, which is from Italy too... Vito Sasso. Vito Sasso, yes. probably you've heard about him. Yes, you know, he's a great guy. Yes. And did a lot of uh, things for the run, for uh -huh. the waiters, mm -hmm. for the, the running of the waiters, because he tried to put some race together. Uh -huh. And especially, it's been helping me a lot the last couple of years to allow me to take time off to mm -hmm. go to those races, mm -hmm. which had a lot of restaurants they want you to they be want. a waiter, and they want. So yeah. I had a great cooperation from him to do uh -huh. that, and same uh -huh. time to work when I'm in town. Uh -huh. And you lecture on health. I do a lot of lectures on. You training. travel on that, or yes? What? I do shopping malls around America. I do lectures before marathon. What do you mean by women. lecturing on health? What does that? Well, mean? what it does, we get involved with food. We get involved with calories and know the type of food you should eat or you shouldn't eat. Uh huh. Nutri uh, nutritionist. Ah, okay. And nice. then in the, the training, what you should eat before marathon or after, uh -huh. how to uh, get your body back in shape by taking rest and all that. Mm -hmm. And I can. You know, I all the uh, diploma of my sir, I did a lot of studies through that, mm -hmm. through all the nutrition mm -hmm. and, uh, and the body. So I see. But uh, you love to bake too, Roger, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I've, your bakery, uh, you had, uh, what is those things you used to, uh, apple and... Well, they're called tarts. Tarts. Oh, and sure. another thing, I'm in the Guinness Book too, to, for making the most tarts. Really? Are you in yes, for that? Uh, yes. In, oh, it's unbelievable. I mean... Ah. Everything for me is a challenge, trying uh -huh. to do better, so, you know. So the word no is not yeah. in your vocabulary. And, and why not I let you read that? Which one? No, you go ahead. Yeah, I have okay. no glasses. Go ahead. Okay, it says, Roger, never giving up his fondness for the kitchen, and he continued to raise each down to bake his fruit tart. Roger, acting on a bet, celebrating the U.S. bicentennial, baked 201 tarts. 201. Nine and a half inches diameter. Uh-huh. Okay, I mean, you can see the right, size. Right, right. To honor America at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York, uh -huh. and he accomplished his feat in 11 hours 55 minutes before collapsing from exhaustion. <laughs> Baked a special peanut tart to honor Jimmy Carter, who was the president <laughs> that year. <laughs> That's good. So I do get involved in a lot of different uh -huh. things. Yeah. Roger, you know, right now you're into physical, but I have a very physical young lady. She is, um, well, I would say um, one of the most talked about sex personified young ladies in Hollywood. She's a sex goddess in the 60s and the 70s. Wow, I can't wait. Wait, you see her. <laughs> she is fantastic. As a matter of fact, she has a new movie out. It's called Lusty Lady, and she will be doing a new uh, thing with Playboy, I think, uh, movie channel, or Playboy movie channel. Her name is Miss Edie Williams. I'd like you to meet her right now, Roger. Mm -hmm. That would be my pleasure. Oh, hello, Edie. How are you, darling? Good God, Edie, How once again, I must tell you, Hi. you'll Hi. never Hello. drown, it's darling. <laughs> Where are you going, Edie? <laughs> Clip her on, would you, Roger, for me? What, How could are you repeat that again? And would you clip her on for oh, me? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> be very honored, but my hands are... Edie, I tell you, you are uh, unbelievable. Roger? What color? Would that be okay? <laughs> be careful, Roger, Roger. you have no jacket on. <laughs> Suddenly so, I'm getting nervous. Yeah, I don't know why. Tell me, Edie, what have you been doing with yourself? You have a new movie coming out, you say? It's out now. It's in eight No, years. not the Lady Lust, Lady but Lust. Uh, the um, other one you have. The other one that's playing right now is called Hollywood Hot Tubs. Hollywood it's Hot Tubs. got an excellent review in Los mm -hmm. Angeles Times today. And I'm busy doing a show for the Playboy Channel. It's called Woman on Sex. Woman on Sex. So now, Edie, why are you doing X-rated movies all these years? It took. Why are you doing that? Because Come it's on. a good business venture for me. I own 5% of the gross of the picture. Uh -huh. And uh, I thought it was a good idea. There's, you know, R and X-rated pictures are accepted today. And mm -hmm. uh, people are more sophisticated. They're more open-minded. They're more liberal. And, uh... How do you keep in shape, Edie? I was Edie. happy with the work. How do you keep in shape, Merlin? Really? Because you have such a great body. No, really. Roger, <laughs> uh, does she keep I, in shape? I don't or? know what to say. It's really beautiful what I see. You know? How do you keep in shape, Edie? 
what do well, you do about it? Well, let's see. I run with my horse, which is a lot of you fun. You have a horse. I make exercising fun. And uh, I go to an aerobic class. Uh -huh. In fact, I want to have Roger join me in some exercises. Okay, we can do that. Because I was in New York recently, and I was on the morning show with Regis Philbin, and it was really amusing because just as Regis and I started to do some exercises, uh -huh. um, my strap broke. <laughs> uh -huh. As usual. <laughs> it was a live show. It was really funny. The audience got sort of hysterical. Uh -huh. So we didn't get to finish. So I thought what we could do was maybe continue what we, you know, take up from where we With left Roger? off in Fine. New York. You brought a clip right now, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I did. Okay, I'd like, to, I'd like to, the audience to see that clip of yours from okay. uh, Regis Filman Show in New York? Yes. Okay, let's uh, show so you. So you're in pretty good shape, and actually you work out, what, three, four times maybe every day, huh? No, not every day, but um, just about every day. Mm -hmm. I go to the health club three times a week, you know, good old Jack O'Lanes, and I have a horse. And I go out and I jog alongside of him. Mm -hmm. Instead of riding him, mm -hmm. I run with him. And I have my program, different systems, so that I really enjoy what I'm doing and I want to do it. And then I have a coach. He comes to my house Monday morning at 9 a.m. and Friday mornings at 11.15. Rain or shine, he's there with a big smile. I'll bet he is with a big smile. <laughs> he can't wait, this coach, to come to see his linebacker. <laughs> Well, he was Mr. America at one time. Who? What's his name? Reggie Lewis. And he recently won the over 50 uh, Mr. America uh -huh. here in New York. And uh, he's built up my program where now I have uh, 220 sit-ups that I do. Consecutively, so, huh? Yeah. Terrific. Well, Edie, show us a couple of exercises. In fact, I'll work with you if you'd You're like. You're going to join? Oh, good. Yeah, sure. Okay. We just well, have a minute or two left. But show us some of the, uh, don't show us anything simple. Show us the advanced stuff. We've seen all the simple the things. The advanced stuff? Okay. Well, a good one to start with is uh, a lunge. And you go like this, and you go way forward. You bend your right knee, and you go forward. And you make it look pretty, like this. Okay? And then you quick do the other leg. What you bend forward on that. That's for your thighs, this uh -huh. area right in here. Yeah. And the other one is a can-can number. Ooh, where you see that? You go like this. You use your knee up, and then you kick out. And your knee up, and like that. You know, like the can-can. Like, woo! Good. All right. Kick like that, and then you can do a side one like this. This is aerobic. Yeah. Come on, go okay. for it. Right. Go for, for it. it. Like Let's do the kick. Okay, Edie. Okay. Try to keep that blouse on. Like that. <laughs> we better leave right now, right, Edie? Before. Keep like jumping, that. Edie. Keep jumping. Crazy Edie. How's Edie doing? I'm afraid. Oh, my God. God. Listen, we're going to come right back with uh, the news and the weather. Boy, Edie, I tell you, were you ever a telephone operator? Because every line is busy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> what was funny? That was a funny It was a live show, you know, and it almost uh -huh. came all the way down. But it, I. But you handled it. I handled you it. Were quick. You were quick. You were very quick. <laughs> Roger, tell me something, getting back with you. You grew up in a family restaurant. All the fa Their whole family was a restaurant. Yes, that's correct. Yes. And uh, how come uh, you didn't stay in Europe? Why America, Roger? Well, I know you're a traveler, but why I America? I always, you know, I, we, I come from a country, Switzerland, where it's a very small country, and everyone there make a point to travel to new countries before you, you're 30. I mean, mm -hmm. the Swiss are known as a traveler. To, They're you, it's a you know. beautiful country. And usually you go for five years, and then you come back to your country, and you, right, right. you know, find your happiness, and you're there. So I guess what I'm still looking is for happiness. You yeah, and I'm very happy myself. But happy is, is Switzerland is beautiful there. I know, but America it's even more beautiful. You so really now, do? You see, I'm getting good boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see, I'm getting to paradise. Uh -huh. I'm one of the lucky person who can choose between paradise and I'm just take all of them. I see. You see, I'm able to go back. And matter of fact, I'm going back to Switzerland in a month. I uh -huh. was there last June. Mm -hmm. And so I just traveled back and forth. Your parents still have a restaurant? No. Yeah. My father sold the restaurant because he was very mad because I didn't want to get over. Yeah, right. But uh, everything is fine. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm following so many new mm -hmm. enterprises. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that's what I love about America. Yeah. See, in Europe, if you're a, uh, a restaurator or uh -huh. a chef, that's it. You mm -hmm. are a chef for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I could never become the world fastest running waiter in Switzerland. Yeah, I see. I mean, you're just not yeah. open-minded yeah, like right, they're in America. So, right, right. And I'm still old-fashioned in many ways, but at the same time, I like that open-minded of America. I see. So I'm 
Edie, yes. and did you know that Edie's family is from the lawyers? They're lawyers. They're great lawyers. My brother is a very successful entertain. Uh, let's see, an attorney it, that it, he's a malpractice attorney. He uh -huh. sues like hospitals. Yeah, people don't know that about you. They really don't. No, his name is Hal Williams Jr. and uh -huh. he's won many, many landmark cases. It's really great. And I'm very how about proud your horses, Edie? How many horses do you have? I have two Arabian horses, and, and I have uh, six dogs. Each dog I've taken to the Academy Awards. <laughs> Why do you do that, Edie? Why? Take them to because the Academy Awards. I love animals, and I feel they deserve to be in the limelight. They've earned their place in society, and mm -hmm. they de deserve a lot more credit than they get. They're, they're such a wonderful aid to people. They say that elderly ones who have lost a uh, mate recover mm -hmm. much faster if they have a pet. Uh -huh. And I try to do a lot you know, for them, to speak uh -huh. for them, you know, yes. they can't talk, so I try to help them. And when I, when I go to these functions and I, photographers, you know, they're providing food, shelter, I like to have a little dog there, you know? Edie, do you really feel like a sex goddess? I mean, let's face it, this is 1984. Edie Rims has been around Hollywood a long time. Yeah. But do you really, every time you go out, do you really feel like a real sex goddess? Uh, when people ask me for my autograph, uh, <laughs> what about her number? When the fellow, when the fellow I'm <laughs> she with, she gets a lot me. of them. Believe me, she's. You've been Sometimes. a sex goddess for a long time. Sometimes. Ever since you hit Hollywood, you've been here a long time. It's a lot of work, though, staying in shape. But I love the business, and if that means I have to work out twice a day instead of once, that's what I'm going to do. What was your first movie? The first picture, I started out in the Elvis Presley movies. I got to meet him, and he was a wonderful person. He I was in Paradise Hawaiian uh -huh. Style, and I was in Girls, Girls, Girls. Mm -hmm. We worked at Paramount. And then I started out in bit parts. Mm -hmm. You were under contract at 20th, weren't you? I was. I had a seven-year contract with 20th Century uh -huh. Fox, and I was there until the studio closed down for a while. Mm -hmm. And I've been in about 30 pictures already. People True. don't realize that. They don't. They don't. And you were married to Russ Myerson, who is one yeah. very fabulous. What kind of guy was Russ Myerson, Edie? Um, well, he was a drill sergeant in the Army, <laughs> <laughs> and he kept it up. <laughs> okay. But anyway. Do you, so, but you want to do some exercise for us? Well, how yeah, about getting I Roger out there and show I could us? show Roger, you know, the things I do to... Tone up to keep in shape like he you cut up. No, what I would down. love to do is to run with yeah. you when you have those two horses. I want to see how you hold this tray. Now yeah, Roger. What's the how do you, catch what is this, to that? What is how the do you keep thing? them okay, from There is no up. catch. Okay, the bottles are freestanding. There's right. no glue. Yeah. Right. And the, the secret, which there is one, uh -huh. is to have a big hand, which I'm very happy, mm -hmm. lucky to You're have. You're happy one. to have, yes. But a lot of people. How tall are you, do, Roger? Uh, six foot three. You are tall. Yes, you are very tall. And the basic is to hold the tray on your fingers. Ah. I don't know if the camera can oh, pick up. You mean you right. are running with That's just... That's it. All right? Not on the flat of your hand. I can't believe because that. Because then you're losing what we call uh, suspension. And you your know? fingers don't get tired? You they know? do. Oh, after they do. 10 miles, not only the finger, the whole arm. Oh. And usually when I finish a marathon after two and a half hours, I don't feel all my arm. I mean, You really don't do. Okay. Well, I want to see how you feel with me doing some Here, exercises. Here, let's, 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 let's... I feel let's good see. already. <laughs> Here, Edie. Oh, you got the clip off, right? Yeah. You get that clip off? Oh, good girl. No, no, that's fine. Here. Okay. Here, we can... Uh, I, think uh, I like that already. Go ahead. Okay. Now, let's see. One of the first things, if we, if we start from where we left off... Can you off, jump a little with that? Okay, just a little. Don't... Let's see. Too far. Go like That's this. Good, you bend forward just to warm up a little bit and bend your thigh and lean forward like this. <laughs> That's and keep first. your back straight. Now go forward like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, now we can... And now do the other leg. Bend your knee. One, two, three. Four. You always want to count. That's very good for healthy mental mind and a clear head. Now, okay, now spread your knees out like this. Okay, now go right, back, left, forward, right, back, left, forward. What does that do, Edie? Now, what does that do? This is for your hips and your waist. It keeps your waist trim. Now go the other way. Like this. Oh, really? Right. Round in a circle. Okay, Roger. Go for it. Come on. You like it, Roger? I used to do those in gym. I see. Uh -huh. yeah, the then, and then you do make it fun. Snap the fingers. Touch like this. Touch. Boom. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Then you go around in a circle. Six. Seven. Eight. Watch the curry. Back. Let's not break the strap, Edie, like you've done in Ridges. Uh, now you okay. can do I one. have a big hand. I can have. Now you face each other and you hold your hands real tight. Just, just the last okay, one, okay? Touch your toes, touch your knees. Now go back. Go back. Now come up. Kiss. Oh. Mm. Ah, Edie. Go back. 
This is a family show, yeah, darling. Come up. <laughs> okay, go back. Come up. Okay, okay Roger. We'll okay, stay. That's fine, Edie. Okay, now go down. Like this. Up. Then come up. This is great for your. Yeah. What's that good for? Down. Up. It feels good. <laughs> okay, Edie, we got the message. Okay. <laughs> okay, now do a can can. You put your arms like this. Up like this. Go knee up. Knee up. Oh, yes. Knee up. Okay. Knee up. Knee up. Knee up. Edie me. Williams, fine. Thank you, darling. That's fine. <laughs> Let me You're get welcome. that clip off of you, darling. Thank you very much. Oh, Skippy, your hands are cold. I know. Aren't they cold? Come. Come right up, darling. Come on up. Okay. Here, Roger. Very good. So, Edie Williams, where are you really from, actually? Your um, lipstick, darling. Let's see. Yeah. I was where born you actually? in Salt Lake City, Utah. Salt Lake City, Utah? Yeah. Really? Do I need that little clip on? Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> I think, uh, what, what here, we'll give it. Oh. Go ahead. Not, can you That's fine. So tell me, Edie Williams, Salt Lake City, Utah, and you came yes, here when you were a very young girl. Yes, and uh, my father was the head regional vice president of Farmers Insurance in Portland, uh -huh. Oregon. Mm -hmm. And then he was transferred down here, and he put together the whole claims department of um, Farmers Insurance in Los uh -huh. Angeles. <laughs> And um, my brother worked for him for a while, and then he became a very renowned attorney, and uh -huh. he has his own law offices in Westwood. And, Edie, uh, do you have a special man in your life right now? Right now, do I have a special man in my life? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, uh -huh. I've got six dogs. They're special in my life. I'm free. Cats and a horse. I'm free. Roger, I want to taste one of your tarts. Oh, uh, well, very I, good. It's excellent. That would Roger, be excellent. How about you? Are you married, Roger? No, do you know, I've been trying to get married, I've been trying to find the right woman, and somehow, I can't. You can't. You can't I don't know if it's... find the right woman? I can't, oh, my I, God. Let's uh, do something. <laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> well, Roger, what would you say? I would love to go around with you. You would love to go around with you? I would like to run with you. Yeah. If I could keep up with you, it would be fantastic. Do you yeah. do jog, Edie? You jog yes, every I day? Do. You do. Um, I jog downhill, and then uh -huh. I try to come back uphill running, which is really difficult. Because you live up in Sunset Plaza. Yeah. And that's a good place yeah. to jog up there yeah. in that area. Yeah, it's fabulous. But you live in, uh, how long have you been here in Hollywood now? In West Hollywood? Oh, well, since 1972. 72? That's when I came the first time. Then I went uh -huh. back to Europe. I went to Haiti, Hawaii, uh -huh. and different places, you know, uh -huh. for different purposes. But now I've been uh, in Beverly Hills for the last four years. You uh -huh. know, you are you writing a book, Roger? I'm involved, I'm trying, you know, it's not, it's just not that easy to write a book. And yes, I would say, yes, I'm writing a book, but it takes many people to help me out mm -hmm. about cooking and different things of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know when it's going to be finished. Have you done any cooking on, on TV? Oh, oh yes. You I've have. done a lot of cooking demonstration. I've done a lot of cook, uh, pastry contests, which right. I won, you right. know, in Europe and right. that, uh, which is very good. So I do get a lot of involvement with, uh, you know, different uh, uh -huh. specialties. Yeah. Are you happy where you are, Roger? I am. Uh, are you really? Yes. I'm very happy to be here today, let me tell you. That's uh -huh. uh, something new for me. I'm really enjoy it. Uh -huh. But I am happy to be able to choose what I want to do tomorrow. Edie Williams, yes. are you happy? Yes. I go out of my way to work toward being happy, helping others. You know, that's a good things. idea. That's a, cl that's a very, because very... Because it comes, out, comes uh -huh. back to you. If you do nice things for others, you know, it makes you feel good, uh -huh. and then good things happen to you. What would you tell our young audiences out there to keep in shape? How would you, how, uh, Roger, tell me, what would you tell them how to keep in shape? Okay, what I would say in, in very few words is that whatever you do, mm -hmm. try to do it every day. Mm -hmm. Not to go out, exercise for two days, and then you're done for five days. Right. You better have to, try to do an exercise only ten minutes a day, mm -hmm. but do it on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. That's good. And don't strain yourself. Edie, what would you tell them? As a beautiful young actress here in Hollywood all these years and you've been around and what would you tell the uh, the people out there really uh, want to be actresses and keep themselves in shape? I would say you know to get really involved to be really highly interested to talk about what it is that you want to do uh, my mother recently she had a stroke and everyone said that she wouldn't walk again uh -huh. and she is walking again because she got up and she said well you know I'm gonna try and every day she mm -hmm. tried a little more a little more and a uh -huh. little more and that's all it is. There's, you know, you can accomplish anything you it's want. It's all you in the mind. Try. It's attitude. You have a good attitude, uh, Roger. You do, and you both do. Yeah. You really both have 
good attitudes. Yeah. But I, be, I would believe what gives you that attitude is to have an every day be able to do the same physical. Mm -hmm. I think if, if you can work your physical, you'll be able to work your physical mental. Physical is very important. Isn't it is. It? I mean, it is for just, me. Not just mental, yeah. it's physical. See, a lot of people, it's more... you're happier yeah. when you're physically. Yeah, but a lot yeah. of people are more happy to read a book, mental, and then uh -huh. physical. Yes. As I'm opposite, I need the physical and then the mental and everything come along. I see. So if I don't have that physical, which I had surgery a few months ago and I couldn't run for a while, mm. I was very depressed. I see. I could not compensate that loss of physical by mental. Uh -huh. you, you know, it's different mm. people, different uh, things we need. Roger, I want to thank you for coming to appear on my show today. It's, really it's been my a pleasure. little something different for me. Thank I you very much. Because I interview celebrities and all. <laughs> it's but a pleasure. I had the world's fastest running waiter on my show. Well, it was an honor to be with you. And you're a very dear friend. I really mean it. Thank you very thank much, you. Roger Berman. Edie Williams, as yes. usual, I must say, you are the hottest sex symbol in this town. And you <laughs> just upset you. my show all the time. Thank you. And I'll tell you once again, you'll never drown, darling. <laughs> thank you. It's nice to see you again. You look wonderful, darling. It's I want to nice thank you for coming. It's nice to meet you, too, Roger. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen. My pleasure. Not the sound. We always to talk to um, Close up, please. Oh, that's a European kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been looking at Hollywood again. This is Skippy Lowe. Thank you. marathon mm -hmm. you have to do at least in one week three times the distance you're going to run on Sunday right, right. so I would run an average of 30 miles every two days or sometime up to 90 miles in one week really? sometime more so I compensate that into my I work uh -huh. lunch and dinner in a restaurant I'm yes you ha you had a restaurant here in town it yes. was Cafe Monnier I owned a restaurant Cafe Monnier which was very popular on Burton in, Way in 80, 81, 82 it was very very good I yeah. was there for dinner many times then I've left because uh, all they tear down the building, so all I have a souvenir is a nice break, and I'm waiting now to open my next restaurant. Is that what you're doing? Waiting now? Because you're, you're managing a uh, the, ca uh, the Romeo and Juliet. Yes, I'm a manager, but I'm still a waiter because I like it. I uh -huh. don't like to wear a jacket to be just like the regular uh -huh. maitre d' and, I you see. know, how are you? But you I still like manage the rice, right? Yeah, I'm in yeah. charge of everybody yeah, there, right. but I like to go to the table and help everybody out. They have excellent order. food there, don't they? The food is the best. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. it's not an Italian food. Great pasta, all home uh, homemade, they're uh -huh. fresh. Uh -huh. The chef does a great job, and the owner of is Vito he Italian? The chef? Yes, the he chef is, is he Italian. Yes, and the owner of Vito Sasso, which is from Italy too. Vito Sasso. Vito Sasso. Yes. Probably you've heard about him. Yes, you know, he's, he's great guy. Yes, and did a lot of uh, things for the run, for uh -huh. the waiters, mm -hmm. for the the running of the waiters, because he tried to put some race together, uh -huh. and especially he's been helping me a lot the last couple of years to allowed me to take time off to mm -hmm. go to those races, mm -hmm. which are a lot of restaurants, they want you to they be want. a waiter, and they want. So yeah. I had a great cooperation from him to do uh -huh. that, and same uh -huh. time to work when I'm in town. Uh -huh. And you lecture on health? I do a lot of lectures on You training. travel on that? Or yes, what? I do shopping malls around America. I do lectures before marathon. What do you mean by lecturing on health? What does that well, mean? Well, what it does, we get involved with food, we get involved with calories, and know the type of food you should eat or you shouldn't eat. Uh -huh. Nutri uh, nutritionist. Ah, okay. And I then see. in the, the training, what you should eat before marathon or after, uh -huh. how to uh, get your body back in shape by taking rest and all that. Mm -hmm. And I can, you know, I all the uh, diploma of my sir, I did a lot of studies through that, mm -hmm. through all the nutrition mm -hmm. and, uh, and the body. So I see. But uh, you love to bake too, Roger, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I've your bakery. Uh, you had uh, what is those things you used to uh, apple and well, they call tarts. Tarts. Oh, and sure. another thing, I'm in the Guinness Book too, to for making the most tarts. Really? Are you in yes, the, for that? Uh, yes. In, oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, ah. everything for me is a challenge trying uh -huh. to do better. So you know. So the word no is not yeah, in your vocabulary. And, and why don't I let you read that? Which one? No, you good. Yeah, I have okay. no glasses. Go ahead. Okay, it says Roger never giving up his fondness for the kitchen.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Skip E. Lowe Looks at Hollywood. Today's guests are Roger Berbin, who holds a place in the Guinness Book of World Records, and Miss Edie Williams, whose accomplishments may be said to speak for themselves. And now, here he is, the man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood today. We have a very interesting show for you today. It's a little something different. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one of the world's fastest running waiters in the world. And he holds the world's Guinness Book of Records. Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very fine runner and a very dear friend of mine, Roger Berman. Hello, Skippy. Is that right, Berman? Yes, Berman. 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 We're from Switzerland, right? From the Alps, yes. The Alps. But what do you mean by the fastest running waiter in the world? What does that all mean? Well, it started many years ago when they had waiters race around the countries, including in France, Switzerland, uh -huh. Luxembourg. And they would have all the restaurant associations staying, getting together and put all the waiters and waitresses in the street, uh -huh. give them a trade dressed in the working habit. You mean you run like this? Yes, you work with the bow tie. That's right, with the all outfit, the you know, <laughs> shoes Roger. and everything. No, yeah, yeah. we? And then you have a tray, a nice tray, with sometimes two bottles of uh, champagne or different uh -huh. glasses of champagne or some wine. Uh -huh. And the race can go from 1,000 meters to the marathon, uh -huh. you know, and... You mean you run with the tray, yes, with a, a glass, a, with a bottle? That's correct. You know, I can Mineral show Mineral and what? A very nice example. Uh -huh. It's a bottle that I bring back from different races. I was in uh -huh. around the world. This is from New Zealand. Uh -huh. And it was from... You North even race in New Zealand? Yeah, New Zealand, Canada, uh -huh. Brazil, Japan, oh. Korea. I've been all over the world with, you know, right. just with a little tray, uh -huh. you know. And you basically hold the bottle, one or two bottles, two glasses. Uh -huh. Everyone has to have the same right. items on the tray. Uh -huh. And here you go. You can run as fast as you, as you want or you can, but if you drop any liquid or drop any bottle, you're out of the race. You are. So you have to find that balance where you run fast mm -hmm. without dropping anything. Mm -hmm. and, and it was really amusing because just as Regis and I started to do some exercises, uh -huh. um, my strap broke. Uh -huh. As usual. <laughs> and it was a live show. It was really funny. The audience got sort of hysterical. Uh -huh. So we didn't get to finish. So I thought what we could do was maybe continue what we, you know, take up from where we With left Roger? off in New York. You brought a clip right now, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to the audience to see that clip of yours from okay. uh, Regis Film and Show in New York? Yes. Okay, well, let's uh, show you. So you're in pretty good shape, and actually you work out, what, three, four times maybe every day, huh? No, not every day, but um, just about every day. Mm -hmm. I go to the health club three times a week, you know, good old Jack O'Lanes, and I have a horse, and I go out and I jog alongside of him. Mm -hmm. Instead of riding him, mm -hmm. I run with him. And I have my program different systems so that I really enjoy what I'm doing and I want to do it. And then I have a coach. He comes to my house Monday morning at 9 a.m. and Friday mornings at 11.15. Rain or shine, he's there with a big smile. I'll bet he is with a big smile. <laughs> he can't wait, this coach, to come to see his linebacker. Well, he was Mr. America at one time. Who? What's his name? Reggie Lewis. And he recently won the over 50 uh, Mr. America uh -huh. here in New York. And uh, he's built up my program where now I have uh, 220 sit-ups that I do. Consecutively, so, huh? Yeah. Terrific. Well, Edie, show us a couple of exercises. In fact, I'll work with you if you'd You're like. You're going to join? Oh, good. Yeah, sure. Okay. We just well, have let's a, see. a minute or two left. But a show good us one. Some of the, don't show us anything simple. Show us the advanced stuff. We've seen all the simple things. The advanced stuff? Okay. Well, a good one to start with is uh, a lunch. And you go like this and you go way forward, you bend your right knee and you go forward and you make it look pretty like this, okay? And then you quick do the other leg, what you bend forward on that. That's for your thighs, this uh -huh. area right in here. Yeah. And the other one is a can-can number. Ooh, where you, see that. you go like this, you use your knee up and then you kick out. And your knee up, and like that, you know, like the can-can. It's like, woo, 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 come on, let's do it. Woo, kick. I'm, I'm the joint out. over here. Kick. Uh, That's good. All right. Kick like that, and then you can do a side one like this. This is a aerobic. Yeah. Come on, go okay. for it. Go for it. Let's do the kick. Okay, Edie. Okay. Try to keep that blouse on. Like that. <laughs> we better leave right now, right, Edie? Before. Keep like jumping, that. Edie. Keep jumping. Crazy Edie. How's Edie doing? I'm afraid. Oh, my God. Listen, we're going to come right back with uh, the news and the weather. And we're going to go back. How did you how did you come about this, Roger? 
Well, I didn't invent it. I know you're from a restaurant <laughs> family. Your family is from a restaurant yes, in Switzerland. Yes, I grew up in my father's restaurant many years ago uh -huh. in Switzerland. Right. I went through uh, become a chef and then through the management school. Mm -hmm. and You went to a very good school in France. Yes. The, which one is no, that? No, the Ecole Hotelier in Lausanne. Which, which is one the of best. The tap, you know, right. you, know, you really learn about right. the, the restaurant and hotel business. Uh -huh. Then I went to Australia. I moved back here to America. I've been for a few years. Do you live in Australia? I lived in Australia for two years. Tell a me great country. Roger. I was there too. Yeah. Tell me. Great did country, you beautiful like sand beach. Did you remember? Really like oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. And especially down under, you're opposite of the world, you know. Right, right. Much more peace than here. Uh -huh. And then I came to America, and in 1976, they had the first Los Angeles Weather's Race. That was in 1976. 76 was yeah. the first? The first American Los Angeles Water Weather's Race. Waiters yeah. Race, I see. See, so okay. they had them in Europe for the last 60, 70 years. But finally, a group of restaurants got together and said, let's start. And I was invited to the first race. And I won the first race out of luck. And since then, for the last eight years, I've been running in about uh, 17 different countries. Uh -huh. Won over 150 what is race. Really? Uh, made the front cover of the Guinness Book. Yes, made a did. lot of trophies. And a lot of you are in how many, how many books are you in? Well, this Here you is, are on the cover. Yeah, this is the 1984, I'm this right there. 1984 Roger, Guinness Book of Roger, Records. Roger Bourbon right there. And that's when running the London Marathon. What uh -huh. a great time of 2 yeah. hours and 47 minutes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Without changing hand, carrying the tray in the bottle, and without dropping a thing. Really? Yeah, so what is your what is your speed, Roger? I mean, uh, miles. How many miles is it? Uh, the what marathon is 26 miles, 396 yards. Really? All right. So usually a good runner, world class runner like Alberto Salazar, would take him two hours, eight minutes, eight nine minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I've done in 247 all with the outfit, and that's why I have a lot of respect from all the other runners uh -huh. for doing so with all my clothing on and the right. tray, uh -huh. because you become a very good international runner when you run under three hours. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, doing 2.47, it really took me in a lot Roger, of Roger, I'm going to tell my audience, they really don't. You are great judo. You're in judo, aren't you? Yes, that's what I mean. played judo for 16 years. 16? I hold a second degree black belt. I uh, participate in championship uh -huh. in Australia, Switzerland, all over uh -huh. Europe. Uh -huh. uh, and I sort so of you jog every day? Twice a day. Twice a day? Twice a day, yeah. Why twice? Well, uh, when, to, when you run marathon, you know, for a lot of runners who run 10K, 5K, if you run once a day, four or five miles, you, you know, in good shape. Mm -hmm. But to try to achieve good results and you continue to raise each down to back his foot top, Roger, acting on a bet, celebrating the U.S. bicentennial, baked 201 tops. 201. Nine and a half inches diameter. Uh-huh. Okay, I mean, you can see the right, size. Right, right. To honor America at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York, uh -huh. and he accomplished his feat in 11 hours 55 minutes, before collapsing from exhaustion. <laughs> Baked a special peanut tart to honor Jimmy Carter, who was the president <laughs> that year. <laughs> That's so I do get involved in a lot of different uh -huh. things. Yeah. Roger, you know, right now you're into physical, but I have a very physical young lady. She is, um, well, I would say um, one of the most talked-about sex personified young ladies in Hollywood. She's a sex goddess in the 60s and the 70s. Wow, I can't wait. Wait, you'll see her. <laughs> she is fantastic. As a matter of fact, she has a new movie out. It's called Lusty Lady, and she will be doing a new uh, thing with Playboy, I think, uh, movie channel, or Playboy movie channel. Her name is Miss Edie Williams. I'd like you to meet her right now, Roger. Mm -hmm. That would be my pleasure. Oh, hello, Edie. How are you, darling? Good God, Edie, How once again, I must tell you, Hi. you'll Hi. never Hello. drown, it's darling. <laughs> Where are you going, Edie? <laughs> Clip her on, would you, Roger, for me? What, How could you repeat you that again? And would you clip her on for oh, me? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> be very honored, but my hands are... Edie, I tell you, you are uh, unbelievable. Roger? What color? Would that be okay? <laughs> be Roger. careful, Roger, you have no jacket on. <laughs> Suddenly so, I'm getting nervous, yeah, I don't know why. Tell me, Edie, what have you been doing with yourself? You have a new movie coming out, you say? It's out now, it's in eight No, years. not the Lady Lust, Lady but Lust. Uh, the um, other one you have. The other one that's playing right now is called Hollywood Hot Tubs. Hollywood it's Hot Tubs. got an excellent review in the Los mm -hmm. Angeles Times today. And I'm busy doing a show for the Playboy Channel. It's called Woman on Sex. Woman on Sex. So now, Edie, why are you doing X-rated movies all these years? It took. Why are you doing that? Because Come it's on. a good business venture for me. I own 5% of the gross of the picture. Uh -huh. And uh, I thought it was a good idea. There's, you know, R and X-rated pictures are accepted today. And mm -hmm. uh, people are more sophisticated. They're more open-minded. They're more liberal. And, uh... How do you keep in shape, Edie? I was Edie. happy with the work. How do you keep in shape, darling? Because you have such a great buddy. No, really. <laughs> Roger, 
Uh, Does she keep I, in shape? I or? don't know what to say. It's really beautiful <laughs> what I see. You know? How do you keep in shape, Edie? What do well, you do about let's see. It? I run with my horse, which is a lot of you fun. You have a horse. I make exercising fun. And uh, I go to an aerobic class. Uh -huh. In fact, I want to have Roger join me in some exercises. Okay, we can do that. Because I was in New York recently, and I was on the morning show with Regis.